Hello and welcome to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Outdoor Track and Field Media Day. I am your host, Derek Johnson. I am the sports director at KLWN Radio and host of Rock Truck Sports Talk in Lawrence. Our next media day interview comes with Mid-America Nazarene head coach, Nate Weens. Coach, how's it going today? It's going good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, to get things started here, uh, how excited are you, your staff, and, and athletes to get this outdoor season going? You know, I, I think myself, like a lot of hard coaches, are excited about outdoor. Um, we, uh, you know, indoor is kind of a training ground, so to speak, but without a lot of indoor facilities for a lot of our conference schools, uh, we really like to focus outdoor. We find we're a little bit stronger transitioning to the outdoor season. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to some good things. We, uh, you know, we open up into a couple new events that that indoor doesn't provide with the jab, the hammer, the the 400 hurdles, some of our strong suits. So we're excited. Well, on the indoor side of things, you finished top three at the heart championships on the women's side. You had some national qualifiers on the men's side as well. Can you kind of recap uh, your indoor season and, and what you're taking away from that into this outdoor season? Yeah. Um, you know, I think we built some good momentum. It's, it's probably less qualifiers than we've had in the past and, you know, just being real, but um, what we find is momentum is a really big thing for us. So uh, with our women's four by four, having three freshmen in a transfer, um, you know, really do some good things at nationals uh, and do good things in the heart conference with the win um, with uh, some of our long sprinters. And then also with our individuals on the men's side, we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're really strong. Kind of like you said, we've had a couple jump national qualifiers on the men's side, more sprints based on the women's side. Um, you know, going into outdoor season, we've always been particularly strong in the jab and um, looking to see some of those same repeat things happen outdoor, just kind of like we say, hey, if we get a little bit better each year and we were good last year, we're going to be fantastic this year. So, uh, yeah, look at, looking forward to it. Coach Anthony y Yates was uh, named the Hart Women's Indoor Assistant Coach of the Year. Uh, what kind of impact does he have on your guys' program? Um, he's uh, He's one of those you know, just invaluable people, you know, we're, we're at the NAI level um, and he's made the decision to stay here to invest in the program. He comes with a lot of energy each day, comes with a smile on his face. He's, you know, extremely good technically. Um, but then it also puts the athletes in a position where he's a little bit younger, can relate, brings a lot of energy each day. And so, um, you know, I, I say he's an invaluable piece to what we're doing. Uh, you know, he's he's got a lot of buy in from the athletes. But then again, um, he just operates with a lot of character and integrity um, again at this level, trying to find somebody to stay invest in a program for a while um, has been one of our strong suits. And one of the reasons why we've been successful over the years, he plays a big part of athletes. We should be on the lookout for in this outdoor season on the women's and men's side that uh, could really have a big impact on your season. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think. Um, our women's sprint core, Carly Lindemeyer in the heptathlon, um, you know, Mag Bordova in the 400 hurdles, and then, you know, obviously Autumn Avery in the, uh, in the jab, some of the, you know, the stand-ins, the ones that, man, you know, they, they've taken care of business time and again. We've got some young sprinters on the women's side that are proving themselves, doing a great job. Um, on the men's side, Tim Bala, as usual, you know, he's got great sprint and long jump. He's an outdoor guy. You know, he, he comes on strong in the outdoor season, trains hard through the indoor season. Um, Blake Pogey's an outstanding freshman for us. Um, Josh O'Brien scores all over the place, whether it's long jump, you know, 100, 200, 400 relays. Um, he's just all over the place and does a great job. So um, I think that you can see a little bit of a resurgence from our middle distance crew, our 400, 800 type squad. Uh, of, you know, again, building straight, getting ready for that outdoor season. Um, and then we got a couple jab throwers that are sophomores now. One was an All-American, Gage Hebert. Um, one, the other one was a national qualifier, Nick Allen. Um, those two guys are, <laughs> we're waiting for outdoor, man. That's, they've been, uh, they've been throwing some things indoor, but they're not those huge bodies. They're, uh, they're really explosive, waiting for those little bit lighter implements than the weight um, to have some fun. You're an alum of MNU. You came back to get the program going in, in 2014. Uh, what does that mean to you, being a part of this community for so long? And, and what are your favorite things about being a pioneer? Uh, good question. Good question. You know, I, you kind of climb. We, you know, I had a chance to climb the, so to speak, the coaching ladder up to Power Five, and 
um, really believe God opened the door to come back to Mid America and restart this. It's it's perfect for my family. Um, you know, it's you know number one priority to me is my faith, um, and then everything sprawls out from there. Uh, and and what that does is it allows me to take care of my family. I still get to be part of a sport that I love, um, and still invest in my family. The second part of that is is uh, being able to be in a program where you can recruit somebody in and develop an All-American as opposed to just have to recruit an All-American. I'm um, at this level, uh, at this school, I find that we can do that a lot better at Mid-America just because, you know, we're a faith-based school. Yeah, you can find a party if you want it, but I think that we have our feet, you know, firmly planted on the ground for the most part when a lot of athletes come in the door, the ones that don't really figure out quickly what a good flow to life looks like. Um, so it's kind of the ideal spot to be in as an NAI coach is um, be coaching for a university that uh, has a high integrity that holds their student athletes, not just accountable to really good things on the track, but uh, to growing up being the men and women that we feel like God created them to be um, uh, just allows me to do my job with all the more joy. It's not just about championship banners. A lot of people say that uh, we really believe that. Um, you know, it's not just about the win. That's nice. That's, that's fun. You know, bringing home the trophy. We, we love that. Um, but when, when in five or 10 years, these athletes come back with their families, showing me the progress that they've made in life from where they were to where they are, um, knowing that we could be a part of that journey. That's the, uh, I think that's the uh, silver lining for us here. I know MNU is located in Kansas city. Do you have a favorite barbecue spot? Oh man. No, you can't. You can't even do that. Uh, it's it's no, we, we do a barbecue crawl. Me and some guys from Iowa State that I used to coach, they come every year and we do a barbecue crawl. We have four barbecue joints in one day and um, we try all new ones. So, I mean, you can, I mean, you you throw a stick out there and you're going to have a good bar. I mean, if you're not good barbecue in Kansas City, you don't survive. So, um, you know, I, I'd have to say what used to be Kansas City Joe's uh, or as Kansas City Joe's used to be Oklahoma Joe's. It's close. It's not favorite. But it's a good stand in. I got to give them props. We eat there with our recruits all the time and they do a fantastic job. Z-Man sandwich on toast is definitely uh, is definitely the route you want to go. Right, when someone asks you about heart track and field, what is it that comes to mind? Um, you know, I, I've coached in a lot of conferences. Uh, I love the heart conference. You know, you got young guys like Kenny coming up, doing some good things at Central Methodist. You got Jerry, the old stand ins, uh, Tim Byers at Baker that that have just been doing a great job from time to time. And we all get along. Um, you know, it's a different feel. You know, I've, I've been part of lots of conferences where, you know, winning is everything. And we, and, you know, we, we step on, you know, the track during our conference meets and all the coaches enjoy each other. Um, our athletes enjoy each other. There's not a whole lot of hardcore feuds or anything like that. It's track and field. We all know where we are. We, we know what we're doing. Um, and it's more of a camaraderie. Hey, we all want each other to do good. You go to nationals and we're cheering on, you know, Benedictine and Grandview and those relays, just like they're cheering us on in the sprints and jumps. And it's been a, um, it's been a really good process, uh, of just knowing that, Hey, we're in a conference that really enjoys the sport. They operate most of the time. I'd say I've never had an instance yet where we're, we, we negative recruit or operate with, you know, not with integrity. So, um, it's a conference that's really fun to be a part of. Well, Coach Weens, appreciate your time and good luck in this 2022 outdoor season. Absolutely. Thank you, Derek.